I'm Chris Presley at A1 Tools, and I'm gonna give you kind of a walkthrough of building Matt's new tool. It's a half inch interchangeable. And Matt said he wants this about seven inches long. And the first thing we would do is heat the 90 for the handle, let that cool down, then it's trizac, polish, then we would take it over to that middle orange bender over there, put the two bends on it, then we would repolish it, chase the threads to make sure the tips go in right, and then the welder would weld it, and the handle would be dipped, and that'd be it. If it kind of starts to glow, you know it's hot enough. Put it in front of a fan and wait about 20 minutes where it's cooled out. Try zacking it so we can dig it down to where we can polish it. All right, the bender is set. The hard part about this is, with this 90 degree handle on it, is to keep it straight. And that is the first bend, which is like the original Slayer, kind of a shallow bend, short as I could get it. The second bend will mark two inches from the first bend, which is the way the original Slayer is, is short tip two inches from the first bend. We just line it up, reset this second bend. There it is. We check it for straightness, just make sure it's all lined up. If it tweak needed tweaking, we'd probably heat it here and tweak it out of it. But it looks pretty good, so now we'll polish those bins, chase the threads, weld the pipe handle on it, and dip it. Nice and shiny again, right there on it. The, whenever you bend that, it'll take some of the shine out of the bins. So you have to repolish it to make it all shiny again. Chasing the thread, just make sure no crud got down in there. The threads were a little out of whack. Just make sure all the tips always go in perfectly every time. Good to go. This is the handle we're gonna weld on it. So now we take it over to the welding guy. I'm Aaron Warden and I'm about to weld this for Matt Boyette and here we go. I'm gonna get the approval from Matt, sign off on this new tool, and then we're gonna dip it, and that'll be the end. This is it, huh? Yep. That is a tough handle. It is. Yeah. Man, you could, you could cranky, cranky on that. Yeah. What do you think, Matt? What's your impression? I think this is amazing. Hi, my name's Jason. I put the grips on the handles. What we're gonna do here is, uh, is take the cold tool and heat it so that the thermotractive plastisol will stick to it. Once the plastisol stuck to it, we're gonna cure it and then it'll, ha it'll have a handle be done to it. I like making tools because I know the thing I make is, is not just going to stay with me, but it'll go out into the world and enable a lot of other people 
to make a lot of other things, and that, that, uh, that's satisfying to me. And there we've got it done too. Set it over here to cool. And that's pretty much the end of the process. Sir, is it dry? Yeah, you can touch it. What do you think? What's your impression? I think it's amazing. Very stout, very beautiful. It's gonna slay some body lines. Half inch Denslayer profile, big beefy handle. Move a lot of metal. This is great. This thing is 100% handmade by the A1 tool crew here in Bolivar, Missouri, in the great country of the USA. Look at that. So here we are back in my shop here in Jacksonville, Florida with the finish tool. Uh, you guys got to see this from beginning to end, from crude, stock, rusty material. You guys got to witness it being bent and shaped and tapped and polished and dipped and all the steps by all the highly skilled craftsmen who made this tool possible. And it was really, really cool to be able to bring you guys along to be part of that, to be able to highlight that and see that and see what it takes to be able to make a, a tool similar to this. So this is the body line slayer and this is a tool that you guys saw in the video. We did make one change to it. So we went ahead and changed the handle. Everything about it is the same, but we like, this is the traditional dent slayer handle. So we made this different than what you saw in the video. This is the traditional Slayer handle that you would see. You can grab it here. It's a little bit longer, a little bit beefier, a little bit more meat up here to grab. So we went back to this handle. So this is the finished tool that you guys would be getting. The finished body line Slayer by Dent Slayer Tools. It is half inch stainless steel, 5 16 18. It's got a seven and a half inch handle. It's very large, very powerful, lots of power in this tool. You can uh, put whatever tip in you want and you'll have enough you can deliver to really push out those deep body lines or those wide doors. You know, you can put an extension in it to make whatever throw you want, coupled with whatever tip you want, and this tool is, is magic. This is the body line slayer.